But I think the people who think this, who really do matter, are university administrators and people who are making funding decisions about classics. And to them, I think there's a lot to say. I think that we can say the data about the impact that folks who study classics have had outside of the academy is skewed to make it look like there is nothing. We can say that the training of the classicist can make, as I said before, empathetic citizens informed about historical trends who can have a positive impact in a whole variety of different fields. And we can also say it, it allows us to select who we want to be answering certain questions, questions about what kind of education people should be having, um, what is the role of philosophy and, and non-purely economic thinking in our daily lives. Uh, these are all questions we're going to have to ask and we need to decide who we want to be asking them. Do we want specialists to address those questions? And I think history tells us we most certainly do. The third thing we can tell them is that we're, we want to hear from you. We, yes, classics is art, but perhaps art in the Greek sense, art in the techne sense, that we're open to tinkering and we're open to being more open-minded about what it is we do, or at least I certainly am. And so that includes showing them evidence that there are currently digital humanities classes on offer that are training students in various digital tools, that we are open to thinking about curric uh, other curricular changes as well to make classics more impactful outside of the academy. And we can say that nonetheless all of the benefits that I've already talked about, the, 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 the empathy and the expertise and important and urgent questions can be added to those more technical skills and can make us the empathetic leaders and the humane CEOs um, that the future needs and that the future is making a way for as the internet is making space for less purely economic driven forms of communication in places like Wikipedia where nobody's benefiting financially but people are doing their best to make information accurate and, and doing good work for other people simply because it's the right thing to do. That's the mindset, I think, of the liberal arts, and more generally, that everything isn't about economics. You have to try to make a positive impact in the economic sector. We have to be prepared to participate as citizens, but at the same time, we understand that's not everything. So we can approach emerging problems in the charity, uh, the, the mindset of charity that we see in places like Wikipedia, um, while also having enormous amounts of attention to detail and a sensitivity to the importance of keeping an open mind when talking to people whose experiences we don't know enough about.